Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I am going to be using my new tag punch board from We Are Memory Keepers to make a group of tags for a junk journal that I am working on. So I'm just going to open this and I ordered this over the Christmas holiday and I hadn't even had a chance to open it and try it out. And I typically just make my tags by hand, just cutting the corners, but I thought this may be fun to use. Um, it's not necessary, but I think these little um, these little punch boards, I think they're a lot of fun from We Are Memory Keepers. So I, I um, decided to get myself this one for uh, Christmas this year. It wasn't that expensive either, and I thought it might be fun to try and use. I how to use this. I think it's probably pretty simple to use, but um, first I want to glue up some book pages to make my tags. So um, I'm just going to glue these pages together, and this is from an old book. Um, uh, maybe it's fairy tales or something like that. I'm not really sure what it is. And so I'm just going to glue the pages together where the pictures are. And a lot of my books come from a, the used bookstore um, that we have that these books are gonna be trashed anyway because this is in the, I try to buy the inexpensive ones to use in my books. And so they have them there, but um, once they don't sell for so long, then they, they just trash them. So. Um, I like to get them and use them, give them a new life in my journals. So now I'm just pulling these pages together real good and I'm going to then cut them apart into tags. So let me see here um, what size tags I do want. I do want them to match the uh, journal that I'm making. So I will have to measure a few things in my um, for my journal and I've got to find where my journal is that I'm working on. So for one of the tags, I need it to be three inches. Let's see, the spot that it can fit in is three by three and a half. So I do believe, let me measure that one more time. And here's the journal I'm working on. So, um, yeah, it's about three and a half. Three by three and a half is what I can use. So, let's cut this into a three inch strip. And then we're going to cut it at three and a, let me cut that little extra edge off right there. Then we're gonna cut it three and a half. And then we're going to decorate these tags up. So we're not going to just use the book page alone. We're going to decorate up the tags. And so I want a couple of these because I've got several pockets that are this going to be this same size. So let me cut that. Okay. So these are going to be some shorter ones. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to trim this one off just a little bit more. I don't like the shape where it being square. So I'm just going to trim it off to two and a half because the pocket was big enough for that, but I'm not happy with. Size. So now I'm going to cut a few more tags and I'm going to cut them different sizes. I like that size and I'm just eyeballing what sizes are, that I like the looks of. And then I've got some paper that I've cut up as well that I'm going to be making tags with. So here's some of these and here's a sheet of paper that I was using for a tag. And this could make a little skinny tag. Let's just cut it off right there. And let's see what we have. So let's go ahead and get started on making a few tags and then we can cut more paper as I go. Okay, so for this one, let's see, let's start with the little ones first. So for this one, I'm going to take and let's cut the corners. So I'm just going to look on here and see how it says to, um, to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put it I'm just going to put on the line that I want, how much I want cut off, and then I'll just try it that way and see. So then I think you put it in the groove here. It's kind of 
kind of like all the other ones that they have. And this one has a really sharp blade compared to um, some of their other ones that I have, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't let children use this at all. So let me see if I like that. That might be cute. Just a short little tag like that that's going inside. It's gonna go inside a pocket right here. So, that's one. And let's try cutting it. That, I cut that one on, where did I cut that one on? I cut it on E. So let's cut, try the G mark and see what this one would look like. I'm just experimenting to see what the tags will look like. Um, this thing is kind of fun to use. I know I could just cut my scissors and then just, okay, so see, now that is too deep of a um, cut. So, so you do learn that you don't want to cut with so much off, but I can, I can salvage this tag. I'm going to have to do is just cut some of this peak off right here. And it's salvaged. It's just a short little tag though. Um, so this one, I'm just going to cut just a little off. And I'm not sure if there's any rule to this. I'm just eyeballing what I think should come off. If I was cutting it, how much I would cut off in a normal situation. But I like that this one, it makes it easier for me um, to use because you have, when I cut it, I have to hold that little triangle piece on the other side. And I'm always, it's hard to hold that little piece someday. So um, when my hand shakes so bad, so this does good. I do like that one. And then let's cut just a few more of the corners. And let's see here. And I think there's a punch on here to punch a hole in it. We'll try that one real quick too, just to see how that looks. I think you're supposed to just stick it there, probably because of the sharp blade. Let's see what the little punch does. Just put it, even it up in between here. And do I have it evened up? Yes. And there it makes a little hole. That's pretty cute. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a few more. And then we will get to decorating these. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this one. And I've already laid out some pieces for this tag because this tag is going on the front of my journal and it's going inside of a pocket and so it's very important how everything lays out for this one and so um, what this is this is going to be the pocket and I'm going to cut out the circle here and so this rose is going to be peeping through so what I want to do is I want to give enough room because I'm going to have to glue the bottom of the pocket so I want to give enough room and then have it where I know that my rose is going to peep through so I'm just going to have to see here um, the best place to place the rows on the tag because I want it all to work out so that you can see the rows through and then I've got some more pieces I'm going to add to it I think I may add um, just a little wording let's see here just going to lay this one out since this one some of them are not as important to the whole you know layout it's just whatever I think looks good but this one I want it to be really good since it's going to be on the front and this is kind of what I had in mind for it. And I like that. So what I'm gonna do is get my um, ink out and I'm gonna ink this little B. Let me find a piece of paper to ink him on. Cause um, when I cut him out, there is white edges around him. And so I just want to um, color in those white edges so it all blends for him, blends in with his coloring. So I'm just darkening a little bit on the wings there. And then I want to ink um, this little saying up so that it pops a little bit more. And let's see if anything else needs inking. I don't think so. I might ink the tag. Let me just slide all this back off and let's ink up this tag. Just the edges up just a little bit. And this is going in a journal that I'm doing for a swap. It's a 
my junk mail journal, and I will have videos up on how I make that journal as well. This, that's what these are going in. So I thought I would um, sit down and just make a bunch of tags for this journal with the, with all the papers and different things that matches the journal. So let's see. Let's go ahead, and we're going to start out by adding the um, book page that I tore. I'm going to add it to the tag. If I can get my glue out, sometimes it's a little slow to get started. So let's just add this. And then, um, we'll add all the other little pieces. I'm trying to think if I, don't think I want to ink the rose. I kind of like the white around it, but I'm not sure. I'm still thinking. So here we go. And that'll work good. And then, let me see. I like how the rose pops like that. So I'm just going to leave the rose not inked. And I'm going to bring my little pocket back to make sure I put the rose exactly where I need it. Like I said, most of the tags, I'm not going to fidget with it like this. It has to be perfect, everything laid out. But since this one is going on the cover and I do want it to be a certain way, peep out a certain way, that's I'm being more particular with it. The rest is just going to be just decorated up what looks good doesn't have to be anything specific. So let's just see here. I think that's gonna match up good. So then I'm just gonna add this at the bottom. Just stick that there. I kinda of like it right on the edge. And then put the little wording up top. And most of this journal is it's just mainly it's it's kind of got a pink theme to it and lots of roses. I'm doing lots of roses in this journal. I absolutely love pink roses. So that's um that's what this journal's gonna I'll it's got a lot of those in there, and then some white roses and different things. So um and I'm pulling papers from different digital files. So um, I don't know if I'll be able to list them all below since there is so many different things here. I'll try to list what I can. The ones I can actually remember. I don't even remember where I got these roses from. I'll have to look, see if I can find it. I just sat down one day and, and cut out a bunch of um, I think I want the bee like that. I sat down one day and cut out a bunch of different roses and little bitty pieces like this, the little tags and wording. And so I think these actually I found on Pinterest for free. And so, um, so a lot of this, yeah, I just combined a bunch of different things together to um, to get the to get some pieces for this journal. And I th I'm thinking instead of putting a hole at the top, I am thinking of putting like. Um, some lace maybe like this, but I'm gonna go through my lace bin before I do that and I will decide. But I'm gonna lay that piece of lace with it just in case I decide to go with that. And then let me see, what else do I wanna? I wanna go ahead and use one of these book pages. And let's see, I have some more paper over here. Let me see if that one fits. I kind of, I know it's covering the book page quite a bit, but that's okay. I'm just gonna see here what I like. I like how this book page has that um, rough edge. You can see sit around, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna put this one on here like this. So I think that I'm going to, um, let's cut it, let's cut it first. Let's cut both of these pieces first so that we make sure. So if I cut this one, now this is gonna be a total experiment. If I cut this one at F, the great thing is, oops, I turned it wrong. The great thing is, if I cut it um, wrong, this book page, I've got plenty of these book pages, so I can just always start over. This little thing is tiny for my hands this morning. So I'm gonna cut it right here on the F, and then I'm gonna go back and cut the next one a little deeper, so see if, it's, see if it works that way, it should. So if I cut this one, let me see. If I cut this one, maybe I don't have to. Cut it at F. 
Let's cut it up just like I did that one, see if it fits inside it. We will see. Let's see this a little smaller, it should. Let's see here. Nope, so that's right. I need to cut it at G. That's what I was wondering. Just a little smaller. Might have helped to read instructions or um, looked up online how to do it, but I just like to wing it and see. Let's see right here. There we go. So that'll be good like that. So now I'm just gonna glue this one on and then we will collage on it. And I need to pull out my, here's my little box of different little things I've cut out for this. I've cut out quite a bit for this little, um, uh, this little journal that I'm working on. So we'll see what's in it. I want everything to sort of match. So that's why I cut out a bunch of each thing so that there's a theme throughout the little journal. There we go. And let's see. What do I want to add to this one? Um, let's just start pulling out and seeing what's in here. There's one that says sewing. Oops, I want to ink the edges before I get much further because I forgot to ink the tag before I glued it on. And I'm not really liking the distance that these are from each other, so I'm just going to go and eyeball it like that. Sometimes that's what you just have to do. Sometimes these tools, not everything works like you want, so you just make it work. So I'm just inking this up. And this came from a download from Marcy Coates, and it's a, it was on her website. It's a, actually a free file. I can link that below. And let's see here. Maybe I've got some roses over here laid out. I think it would need something more behind that. So let's just go through here and see what I have. Don't, the purple is for another uh, project that I'm working on. So I don't really want to put the purple on here. And there's a little butterfly that's cute. I apologize. I don't remember what I was saying or where I was at. The dog started barking, so I had to just pause for a moment. But I have this pink butterfly, and then I have this little sewing um, ticket. And I'm not sure, though. I, I like this. Let me ink it up. It's another ticket from the same free download. And I will try to link that one below since I do know where I got that one. And then, let me see what I'm doing here. Just kind of kind of decorate this up. Maybe I want this here. And some wording, maybe. And I think I need to tear up let me see, what is some scrap that I have that I want to tear up to put on here? I might could tear some of this. I'm just trying to use scrap from what I've already got from um, where I've been making the album so that, like I said, so everything matches, but also so that I can use up my scraps and no waste. So let's just see how that would look if I put that on the page. I think that's, that might be cute. And then the tag, kind of like that. Do I want it underneath it? Kind of like the tag over it. So if I glue that on, so let me just ink the edges just a little on that, just to give it a little, make the torn edges stand out just a little bit more, I think. So let's just add glue to that and attach it. go. Then I'm going to put 
that there. So then I think we'll just add this one here. And thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I, I've been so excited to see the numbers growing. They have, um, it's been really exciting to see my subscriber count go up. And I am doing a, um, doing, giving away a freebie to everyone when I reach 250. So I've been working on that. And um, hopefully it'll be something that everyone likes and will enjoy using. So um, I'll be doing that as well at 250. And I'm getting very, I'm getting close. I mean, I'm at, I think as filming this, I'm, I'm over 200. So when I hit that, hopefully I'll have the, the project done so that I can have it ready for you when I hit the 250 mark. So it's very exciting to see. I love the little community that we have. I love hearing your comments and I love um, hearing from each one of you. It's, um, I love, and I do want to see your projects. If you ever um, do anything, do some of the projects like I show and, and you want to, um, and I inspire you to create something, I would love to see what you make and I, please be sure to tag me. Um, on Instagram, you can tag me at Making Craft Studio, and then I am on Facebook, and so um, I will put I'll put that link below. I think you can tag my um, account on Facebook if you share the picture there, and just any um, anywhere that you share, I would love to see it because I love to see other people's projects, and and definitely if I inspire you to do something, I would love to hear from you and and see what you see what you make. So let me see if there's anything else to put. I'm thinking there's maybe a, some little something. Maybe this little thimble here. Or maybe that's enough. Let's just see. I have, let me look through here. Some little beauty things that might look good. I'm just trying to find it. And I don't want that. That's, I know that's too big too. Okay, so I like that like it is. I think that's I think that's a cute little tag. So that's another one. So let's just lay that aside and put that. Let's see now. Let's find um, these little short ones that I made. I done forgot about them. Let's work on those real quick and see what we can do. Um, this rose is going to be too big for that. I do have some little. Um, they've got some with roses somewhere that I. Some little stamps that I printed out. Now these came from Graphics Fairy. I do know that because I really love the little stamps that they. I used a lot of their stamps at Christmas that you could download, and I um, I really enjoy their stamps. And this is an, the floral one that they have. I don't know if they have any other sets. This is just the two that I found so far. So I like that. Let's just see here. And we have. Um, I don't know if you can see my box. Looking here, I do have like a little, they may be too big. Let me see, I had some smaller ones, but I may have used those all up. Let, oh, here's a small one. Let me have that tag. Let me see if there's a bigger tag with the rose on it. Let me see here. I did download different sizes. I have to just stick through and make a huge mess in order to figure out what I want to use. Here's one. Here's one. I don't know. If, yeah, that looks like roses. That might would work. And then you got this. And we need something behind it. This is all kind of blending, but let's see here. Let me um, go ahead and ink this stamp up. bit more of an aged look with this and what if we did that I could pull down some lace actually let me see here I've got a thing of lace here and I need the cream colored maybe we add a little lace down here too maybe this along with some lace along the edge of it and let's see I think we need a color on the background here too let me see what I got that I can add the background. Is that, that's going to be too many flowers. That might be 
good. Let's just take, kind of like this pink part, let's take that off and add it right here. Let's see. Oops. Let me see if I have a bigger piece. I do like that. I just need a bigger piece with some pink. I am just going through my scraps here, trying to see what I have. Um, let me see here. I do like that little piece, so let me add that. I think I will add that there. I do apologize for the dogs barking. It's morning, and they're always a little rowdier in the mornings. And also, it's raining outside, so they can't go outside and play. So I think they're, I think the one that keeps barking, I think she's looking out the window and seeing the neighbor's dogs and stuff that's outside. And she probably wants to go out as well, but um, but she can't because it's, it's raining and I don't let them out when it's raining. They're little bitty dogs and I don't want them to get sick. So, so I try to, keep them in. So I'm just tearing paper here just to figure out what I want to put on this tag. And since um, it's kind of a weird shape, I know, but it's just supposed to be a short little tag to go inside of a inside of a little bitty pocket. And so I just wanted to maybe use that. Oh, where's the little butterfly? Yes, the little butterfly. And um, I kind of like all that together. Maybe not this one so much. I just do it like this. And then I do want a little bit more color. So hold up, I've got some pink here. I'm thinking I want to add just a little pink background to it. So let me just tear just a little bit right here. Hmm. Trying to figure out how much I want on there. If I want a, the whole background to have some pink or just a little bit. So let's see. Let's just add a little bit of pink on this background. Maybe like this. And I'm going to ink those edges. Get that white off of there. Maybe do it, maybe like this, and then we'll add this little paper here, and then add the tag. I'm gonna add this paper like you see the upper edge of it. Just slide that down. Add the tag. I think maybe more like that, and then the tag. A little butterfly. And hmm, I wonder if this was going to fit anywhere. Probably not. So maybe it's just a little doodad there. Let's see what else we got. Kind of like that. And then, should I add some lace? to the bottom of this. Okay, let's add the lace. And then we will put the rest on. So we're just gonna add a little glue down here at the bottom for it. Just going to layer this up. I'm just going to 
I have really gotten into using digital files lately. I used to never use them. I always bought packs of paper from the store, but I've really gotten into um, using digital files, and I absolutely love them because you can print all the um, all the extra pages that you want. A lot of times when you get a pack of paper, you only get um, you know one or two of a print, and so a lot of times you have your favorite ones that you want to use, and you use those up quickly. So I um, I really love using the digital files because I just go back and reprint it over and over what I want. Because some some even just leaving with digital files, there's some uh, papers in the pack that I'll never use, and then there is some in the pack that I will use tons of them. I mean, use the there's some of them that I will use, and I'll use them tons of times. I'll use them over and over because they're my favorite um, prints. And I think we all have that. And so a lot of times I wind up with paper packs here that I buy that there's sheets that I'll never, I never use because I really don't like the print on it. So when you buy digital files, it works out good that way that you don't have extra paper laying around too. You can just print it when you need it. So that's a cute little tag, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole in the top of it. Let me make sure I got that lined up even. Yeah, there we go, that's a little hole. I think I want the hole to be bigger. So I am going to punch it with my um, my, my crop it down. And actually, I don't like how that turned out. So, I am going to take, cover it up with this little piece, which is no big deal. I think that will look good anyway. And then, that'll strengthen it also. So, I'm just going to do that. Cause when I punch the hole with this, this thing, I haven't quite learned it because it, it was crooked and it was small. I didn't like it small, but then I was trying to straighten it up and it didn't work. So, we all make mistakes. So, we just cover them up. So I'm just gonna put that there, and I think that that would be fine. Okay, so I'm just adding this to the top, and then I am going to hole punch it with my Crocodile. And let's see, let's use this small side finally. Just right here at the top. There we go. So now I can add a little string in there, and I do like that one now. So I think that turned out cute. So that's another one. So we have three tags ready to go in our journal. So let's work on another one here. Work on just a few more. Let me see. Here's another one. Let's just see what we can do with it. The roses. Maybe a little tag here. Let me see. Move that there. I like to lay it all out before I start gluing just to see what it looks like. Okay. And as you'll see, I love torn edges. I love to tear paper and have the torn edges on things. Attach that there. And here we go. And let's see what else we could add to this. Maybe a little saying of some kind. Maybe, not really sure. This one may be too busy. What if I had that there? Maybe like this. And we got a rose. And then. 
okay, so I changed my mind. I was looking around. I have another piece of paper. I, I'm thinking instead, I'm, I'm thinking about layering this paper, the book paper, onto this, and then adding my flowers. So let's just see. And that'll make it just a little bit bigger, but it'll also um, make room for more. So let me see what this little piece looks like. I'm just grabbing little pieces here from my... Uh, um, from my scraps and just figuring out what I want on this page. And there's a little saying. And then we have room here for the little scissors. Maybe right there. And I'm trying to look here at everything. Just take the top and I'm just gonna tear the top just a little. that away. I'm going to just attach it there. Let's see, put this little square here. And then that's not the one. Okay. Okay, so I like that one as well. I'm just going to ink up all the pieces real good, and then I will attach them. And I really want to ink this one a little bit more. I know I've already inked it before, but I want it a little darker around some spots. Okay. So then I'm just going to attach this, and then I'll cut my tag to the height that I want it once I get to attaching it. Just add this one on here. I'm trying to see how many tags I can make and just a, and not take a lot of time getting them all together. And I think these are turning out cute, so I think they'll be good for for this album. Then let's see here. I want to put that rose on top of it. There we go. Maybe I didn't put enough glue right in the bottom of it. It's not sticking good, so let's just add a little bit more. I think it's going to need something down here, but I'm not sure what. I like the wording right there, and then that work. Let's ink it up and see. That may be good. Not crazy about it. Tear the stamp and then just attach it underneath here like that. Or maybe just torn and like this. Just adding some color down here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and glue on the title and then we um, then I can make a decision if I like it or not. 
because I know I do want this wording on here. And we could add this here, that there. I do like that. I'm going to add this one. I'm going to ink the edges that's white. I don't want those white edges. Just trying to make it look like an old stamp. that in there but I want it to be the wording be under the wording if I can get it back up yeah and then I'm going to attach this at the bottom I like that I like how that turned out and now, I think I'm going to cut right across here for my tag top. And let's just see what it looks like. And I would always trim it down if I don't like it. And then I'm just going to cut just a little corner off here. I keep doing that. I'm not sure why I keep pulling that apart. Maybe I'm pulling up too hard or something. Okay, just going to flip it over. And there we go. I think that turned out to be a cute little tag. So I like that. I do see a piece that's loose, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more glue. My glue's dry now, i got to find the lid for it. Okay, so we attach that down real good. And where I pulled this up, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's down good. And right in here, too, because I pulled this up to add that tag underneath, I mean the stamp underneath. So I want to make sure that it's down tight. Let's go ahead and add some, add my lid on there. And where is my crop dial? Actually, I'm going to wait on this one. I think I may just add lace to the top of this one. So we've gotten a few tags made for the journal that I'm working on and I do want to make one more um, I want to try a different text so let me put all this aside okay so I've straightened up just a bit to make room for my um, next tag and so for the next tag what I want to do is I want to make a little um, tag that is just a little journaling spot that you open up so it's going to be like a little card so it's, let me cut the end off here, and then we'll get this one made. So I want this one. So since my pockets that I have, some of my pockets are really small, I'm going to cut this one at 7. And then, let me see how long it is. So it's perfect, it's going to have. So then I'm just going to fold it in half. So first, I gotta decide, do I want, I do want it like this. So let's just take, and I'm going to trim the corners off of, it's just gonna be a short little, yeah, that'll work good. So I'm just gonna trim off right here, and then just flip it over and do the same thing on that side. And like I said, you don't have to have this little doodad. You could always um, do this just with your scissors. So now I'm going to just ink the edges. And we're going to decorate this one up. And i got to decide what I'm putting on it. I think I will add some book paper to it. Maybe not. Let's just see what I got. Let me just collage around on it with some scraps that I have first. And then 
we will go from there. I do want to leave a pink border. So I just like to lay it all out real quick and see what I have. I know I have some more scraps over here. Um, here's some. Maybe just adding a little bit pieces here. I do know this one needs to be torn. Oh, some. So we add it there and add that. And then add this underneath. Kind of go with the same color theme. This is all from the paper that I've been using in the journal. And then um, instead of the, maybe this. It's awful big. Instead of the um, same roses that I've been using, I'm thinking about going with one of these that's going to be on the front as well. Or do I make another butterfly card? Or I could possibly, let's see here, use some of these. Yeah, I do like that one. Just digging through my little box of stuff here. I don't want the, that butterfly's too big. Trying to figure out what I want. And maybe a little wording. And that would make a simple little tag. And I think I do like that. So let's just do that. Let's ink it all up and add that one. I am going to ink the edges of this one just a little because it's just so dark white. And then once I glue it on, if I don't like how white it is, I may add a little bit more um, ink into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach these. Find my glue. It is a very cloudy, rainy day here today. So the lighting may be just a little different in here because of that, but it is, and it's a very dreary day. I'll be glad when it's sun shining again. I don't like dreary days. But it does make a perfect day to be crafting because there's nothing much other than that to do. I could be cleaning house, I guess, but that would be any fun, would it? So I'd rather be crafting. I think I forgot a piece, didn't I? Oh, well, we'll just add it like this. These are just tags. I wonder if you can hear my little snails are snoring. She is, um, I can hear her. She's over under the desk. She likes to stay with me wherever I'm at. And she is snoring right now. <laughs> so hopefully you can't hear all that in the background, but she snores so loud. She always has. Ever since we brought her home and she was just a little puppy, she has the loudest snore to be so tiny. But she is, she's chilling now. She was noisy earlier, now she's, she's wore herself out, so she is napping. Thank goodness, though, because she wants me to hold her when, um, when she's not napping and I'm crafting. She wants me to hold her, and I can't hold her up here and craft at the same time, so she just sits in the floor and fusses at me. We have her sport rotten. Well, I have her sport rotten, I think. I, I do hold her and carry her around a lot. She's like a baby. So she, um, which I think that's good. I like that she feels so 
are spoiled to us. This one's going to be just a little bit more simple than the other ones. I like this. And I like all these sayings I found. They were really neat. I'll have to. I'm going to have to put a bunch of links below. Um, what I may do is start a Pinterest board with the um, the free files that I find on Pinterest and I download and I use in my books. I may just start a Pinterest board so that um, I can just link you to that board each time, and that way, that that way you can um, also go to the board anytime and see what I've added to it. So I might just do that. I might work on that this weekend. And that way it would make it, maybe I'll have it already created by the time I upload this video. I've got a few loose pieces here I'm gonna just glue down. I sometimes tend to use less glue than I should and then I have to go back and add more but I don't like it oozing out so I'm always trying to not overuse the glue but some of these projects you need to use more I think than I've been using so I just have to remember that let me get a tissue paper towel and wipe off because that one did ooze out once I added it so that's a cute little tag and then when they open it up it will be where they can journal so we've completed several of the tags, and now I need to work on pockets. Um, and I may have to make a few more tags once I get my pockets made. So here are the tags that we made so far. And uh, when I'm looking at these, most of these did come from free files, I think, except I'm really thinking this one is a paid for file and this one is too. But I will, I will link, I will link a Pinterest account where you can um, find the free ones that I've been using. And then I will try to link below the ones I purchased so that you can find those as well. Well, I think these turned out really cute and I hope you like them too. And comment below and let me know which one is your favorite, if you have a favorite. And thank you so much for watching and be sure to hit the subscribe and like button. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload a new video, be sure to hit the little bell beside the subscribe button. And thank you so much and I hope you have a great day and bye.